Good morning, YouTube. Uh, <coughs> a quick report. Yes. Uh, fires. And don't ask me what kind because I put a label on another orchid and I forgot which one that was. Um, yeah, I'm not going to look for it. Fires. Small pot. This is a terrestrial, so I'm gonna put it up in <coughs> Cymbidium mix, which is coconut husk, coconut fiber, bark, and rock hard dirt, and sphagnum moss. Hard pressed. Uh, this is a young plant. I have no idea how big it gets. And because I don't know <laughs> what it is, I can't look it up. There is some new root growth. And well, <clears throat> I'm not going to do too much to it. No, absolutely not. We have more than just root growth. We also have new stuff starting. Uh, this bulb oh, is pushing out new roots, so this would be the ideal. Aha! There we go. We have a very, very small young plant with a new growth. That's going to be potted up separately in a very, very petite pot. Do we have those? Yes, we have. Where? I don't know. Uh, then you should go look for it. Yes, that was my plan. Please put your the hecky ding. Waarom is altijd al het fut als het nodig is? Akelige rottingen. Dit zijn potjes. Ik heb een kast vol. Nee. Ja, nee. Ik weet niet wat er nu te doen wordt. Ja, doe nog even jongens. Niet zo potjes. Ja, nou ja, met maar. We doen het gewoon. Yeah, that's, we're going to crack it up with some grade A pebbles. Where are my pebbles? Why is everything not in its place today? I already had a very, very crappy day yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> I woke up because Pip woke me up and when I felt around me my bed was wet and first I thought I was demented look that's what we need but nay I wasn't demented Pip had pissed on my bed never did that yeah I was pissed. <laughs> a bloody cat. Uh, and he has a litter box, a big one, which he rarely uses. Uh, stop talking and do stuff. Yes, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's going to go in a little bit of moss. Yes. A little bit of moss. Oi. Yeah. And for this, I'm going to use young sphagnum. Why? Because it doesn't hold as much water as old sphagnum. No, it doesn't. Is that right? That's too much. Is that right? This is, uh, this holds a lot of water. This doesn't. Yes, uh, hold up. Yeah, bad news on the Cymbidium front. Uh, they all have been, uh, well, yeah. Uh, Anna Greta from Little Orchids showed my video to an orchid grower and he confirmed that they have a virus. I still have them and yeah, it's. I really don't want to get rid of them, but I probably have to. Yeah, I will, I will, shut up. But, I first want to see what they do with spikes and stuff. And I keep them outside from everything else. They get watered separately from a separate container but yeah it's a shame um, in addition to that two days ago I watered all my orchids and I did them all separate just water the plant in a separate container new orchid water in a separate container and that takes me about 65 liters of RO water uh, hold up Yeah, 65 liters of water and then I give every orchid separate, no sharing of water and well it is a bit of a waste but water isn't that expensive. So I'm gonna keep doing that. This might be a little bit uh, too wet. Nah. Well, we'll see. I need. Yeah, this is. Uh, hmm. Should I pick out all the little pebbles? Or should I use perlite? Yeah, no. I'm gonna pause you and I'm gonna pick all these little <laughs> stones out of it. Damn. It's not much, but. Uh, moss. I'm gonna smash this, or do I have, hey, I still have some potting soil. Let me do that. This is rather 
course for such a small plant, but mm. yeah, this is really hard. Too hard. Potting soil with some perlite, and that should make a moisture retentive, earthy media. Now, if I screw up, screwed up, screwed up, uh, <laughs> please let me know in the comments and do it fast so I can repot it again. Yeah. Yeah. Is that enough? There we go, that's enough. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I thought it was enough, but it's not. Damn. Now, this is how you repot a terrestrial, I think. You keep the, the bulb a little bit clean, but yeah, it's such small stuff. Go. Now we gotta an airy mixture, and now let's hope it will survive the repot. That's usually the moment where mine die. Uh, this one is meh. We'll see what it will do. Uh, What's the time? 13 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna do another one. Yeah, I got a big list, guys. Uh, this is the Brassia with the double growth. And yeah, it needs to get on a mount. Because they will grow better, at least, yeah, with me. This one has really, really dark flowers, and it only flowers for me once. Uh, let me see, this is bad, it's bad, it's all bad. Well, can it, yes it can, there we go. Clean it up. Mm. 
yeah these are well this one is making roots this one not yet but they will come let me get some tweezers Yep, it's making roots. So, yeah. Time to cut away some stuff. Let me do this the other way. That's a good route. It is clean, ladies and gentlemen. Cinnamon. There are some scale remnants, but nothing to worry about. It's all dead. Yeah, the, <clears throat> the supermarket bunch that, yeah, there's one that's making an effort and the rest now. So those will be uh, taken out of the collection and dumped. Um, I'm going to need this. This and now I'm gonna be very careful. Uh, I already have holes, that would be awesome. Yes, I have holes, but will it fit? Well, this is not the right board. This? No. This? Well, it's a. Mm, no, it. Ah. Uh, oh, uh. <clears throat> I will be. Mounting the Ancelia in the future. Yes, I will. It can be done. And I already know how. Uh, Baron Boston no need to move this again.
Ja? Nee. Will this work? Well, I guess it will. Okay. Uh, how much rhizome do we have? Yeah, it has to be. No, Eddie. I'm getting annoyed. It's, I uh, know it's Friday today and it feels like Monday. Why? What did I do wrong? Uh, be careful, don't crack the root. Oh, uh, a question. Um, one of my catechetums has a slug in the pot and it's already eaten roots and sadly also the start of the flower spike. Um, if I repot it now, Will I be putting it in dormancy? And if so, is that all right or shouldn't I do it? Uh, these will um, start to droop a little bit as soon as the bulb starts to grow, which it already does. So with a little luck, we're going to have flowers on this one in uh, spring. Moss, uh, yes, moss. Not too much, but enough. And for this, I'm going to use the old part of the sweater. And you can see the difference here. This is young, this is old. Is that right? Is that right? Now it's too much. Yeah. Hold up while I wet this. Now the old roof will die. 
but that's not really a problem. Uh, yeah, these are big enough to do it on their own with a little bit of help of this back ball. And it is a healthy, clean plant. So setting it back won't kill it. Because, well, yeah, this is usually the moment a plant starts to keel over if it's not healthy. Because this is a rather big operation. And that's the problem with uh, the oncidian types, onidobrasia types I have mounted. They were in a sorry state when I got them. So they have a long way to come back from. And some just don't. I think I can keep the eternal wind. And uh, the sea lob, not a talking. But the rest is, well, no. Not that yippy. Is this the last bit of the first bit? Yeah, this is. Uh, that's it. See, it's almost Monday. We need blue. Nah. Probably. Where is it? And there you have it. The new roots are free from the moss, so they will wiggle down. And with a little luck in a few weeks, we're gonna see fresh roots all around. Yes, okay. Uh, this went so bad that I'm going to stop. Screw my to-do list. Later.